Hey, indie lovers, welcome back to the Indie Buffet. Today we're checking out Spirit Fall. Now, we've checked this out before, and this is probably one of my favorites in the genre. So, you're going to grab yourself a plate. The big thing that I want to check out today is because they reached out to me and said, Hey, we're releasing a really nice update called the Frigid Veil. The Frigid Veil is going to include five new enemies, new bosses, uh, new cursed relics, new NPCs, which is the Relic Tinkerer, and some balance changes, a whole bunch of new things. If you haven't played Spirit Fall before, and you like Metrovanias, and you like those battle games where you're like trying to knock people off the you know platform and stuff like that, I really think that you're going to enjoy the heck out of Spirit Fall. It has all that amazingness, it has all this awesome uh, content. To it i'm hiccuping i don't know why i'm still getting over this fever it's like kicking my butt so apologies if it sounds weird or if i'm doing something weird or i'm hiccuping for some dang reason i have no idea i just literally just randomly got the hiccup so we're gonna hop in here and check the game for a little while if you like it of course please check out the links down below this game is going to be something that you're going to want to pick up if you'd love these type of games and let's go just hop right in now, I do have a spirit. I already have one up, so I'm going to kind of just go right into this one. It's been a while since I played this one. It was actually near the first release when they re first went into early access, so it's been a little while since I played this. I love that. Look at that. Look, you just fly up the sides here. I have faith in you. Must keep, or the blight will consume us all. all right, so I think I just upgraded. My last battle. How does it feel to be an omen forged in all? I guess times are a bit rough right now to get excited. I just unlocked something that I was very excited to use. I think it was the yeah, it was the hammer. Now, as you see, the moose sets are really quite cool. Look at this, I love this. Ready? Pop up, pop down. Down attack. Up attack, down attack, side attack, left attack, right attack. A launcher attack, which is just a launch. You just launch them so you can hold it. And then launcher down attack. And then you can neutral air, air attack. You can side air attack. You can up air attack, which is my favorite. Still. And you can down air attack, which is that. Dash, it can be aimed, so you can actually dash in certain different ways. My bolt, which I don't use enough. And the set platform. There we go. Got a little refresher on how the game goes. It's gonna start the run. I don't use the bolt enough. I really need to use the bolt more. There should be a pig right here. And there it is, boom. Oh, Spirit Blessing, let's go. It's the Wolf too, which is the Wounded. You got a 3% chance per stat to receive critical damage from your attacks. The dash deals twice, and if, or deals damage twice and inflicts wounded on enemies for three seconds. Your Bolt is a howl. Well, let's go with the Bolt. Oh. It's like circular. Now you're gonna do this roguelike style where you're gonna go through all here. There's a new biome, which is going to be the three. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bam, charge. See, my favorite is you can knock him off the walls. That's probably my favorite, honestly. Watch this. And you can knock them into each other too, which is just fantastic. Choose it. I get a scroll or I get a corrupted wheel. I'm going with a scroll. Let's collect 100 dust and let's get rolling. Now, do I go with the luminous charge, which is upgrade one of your spirit blessing? Do I increase my max HP? If I go right, I could actually pick between the three blessings. But I do want to upgrade, so let's go with the upgrade. Ah! Ooh, that was a good bolt there. See that? Like I said, I gotta use my bolts more often. Oh, oh, that's not good. Whoop! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I missed it. I missed the wrong one. Ah! Ah, stop it. I hate these flies, dude. Airborne airborne creatures, for some reason, are my, like, pain. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I have no idea why airborne creatures just murder me every single time. Bolt damage at 175. There we go. I haven't unlocked the Shara Shabara, is it yet? Go big guys. Oh no, these guys are so much pain. Oh get get this guy's rare, rare. Let's see, get these guys real quick, because otherwise I'm dead. Your launcher deals more damage whether you're using your launcher or you're poised. You deal more damage to enemies the further away they are. When you when you are hit, deal damage to enemies in a small radius. Let's do that. Don't be hit a lot. I see I'm half my HP already. Hollow ground I haven't had yet. Plus 50% HP. Yeah. Heal me. Oh, this is the new guy right here. The Relic Tinker. Let's go with the Relic Tinker. He's going to tinker me. Hello there. I specialize in restoring and repairing ancient artifacts. If you come across any relics in your journey, I'd love to take a look at them. Um, That's a no. Ooh, Thorn Bracelets. You deal 35% more damage while 30% less. Or anytime you heal, gain 40% of the health restored as dust. Ooh. I'm too away from that. That sucks. Where do I want to go from? I'm going to go with this bad boy. Drop down, drop down, no, no, don't jump up, no, no, don't jump up. Oh, he jumped up. Woo! Oh, the, the group, gotta get the group, man. Oh. I'm gonna need you to die already, thank you. Hit him. Oh, God. He came for me. Okay. Your dash deals damage twice. Your attack deals more damage inflict wounded on enemies. That's my normal attacker. Your launcher deals more. Let's go with my attack. Oh. Woohoo! There we go. I have no idea why I'm, I have such a hard time with this rabbit looking thing, dude. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. <laughs> okay, that was pretty fancy, actually. Whoop! Oh! There we go! There we go. I'm like jumping around on my seat this whole time. But I got your dash deals double or deals damage to enemies and destroys most projectiles, remaining invincible longer, remaining invincible longer during the dash. Uh, poise, all healing sources are more effective. Gain ten of max HP. Let's do that. And then we go to the celestial exchange. Is I can buy myself a spirit here, or I can buy myself some max HP. Actually, I can do both. Let's do with. Good, Mr. Burr. So I haven't got an LT yet. You deal bonus damage when striking undamaged enemies. Gain bonus damage for three seconds after you hit or after breaking an enemy shield, or your launcher deals more damage and inflicts frost. Yes. And I'll buy that too. Thank you. I bet you I can res I bet you I can reset it too. Alright, boss fight time. Oh, this is a hard boss fight. Stop and think of what you're doing. You reach the gate and then what? Do you think you stand a chance against the High Priestess? The Brink's Guardians couldn't stop her even before she harnessed the power of the Blight. You don't have what it takes. You'll have more time to think about it back at Santa. I'll make it quick. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. Oh 
god, ow. Ow. God, god. Ooh, that dash was golden. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, no. I'm dead. Whoop. Whoop. No, oh, I was so close. Oh, I was so close. Dang. Sorry, I unplugged my headphones. I was jumping around so much. Let's go and... Here's other weapons. Let's go down. Let's see if we can unlock some weapons here, shall we? Oh, I need stones. The link blades. Ooh, I gotta try these. Those look awesome. I thought I unlocked... Hmm... Maybe I forgot to save my... Maybe I forgot to save or something. Because I could have swore that I unlocked more. Yeah, I could have swore that I unlocked more. The game's like, oh, you don't like flying enemies. Well, let me give you a flying enemy in the beginning. Jerks. Dowsing Launcher. Your launcher deals more damage and inflicts two stacks of drenched. Ooh. Your bolt conjures three projectiles that damage enemies and inflict drenched. Your down attack and upside deal more damage. Guys out. Oh, I like it. I like it. All right, we're going to have a relic chest or we're going to have a relic chest. Let's go. I promise you, I feel like I've... Oh, God dang, dude. I feel like I... I feel like I've done this before. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> you know that feeling when you like... Maybe, maybe it was my previous save. Because I did delete my save for last time when I played it. Maybe it was that. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I'm going with these so I can unlock more. Opal Prayer Breeds. Spirit blessings you find are 28% likely to have offers of increased rarity or offer synergy blessings. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Slide it in there. I actually think it's my first relic. Oh, I like that it's random. Oh, I drenched them. No! I messed up. There we go. Launch him. Hit him. No! Stop it. You dang on rabbit. There we go. Swung for the hills. All right. When you are hit, gain dust equal to 20% of the damage taken. Ooh. Let's go. All right. Do I want Solish or do I want Navalik? This one's speed. This one's fire, if I'm mistaken. Whoop. There we go. There we go. We go. No more bunnies. No more bunnies. What? Whoop. I right. little brat. There we go. Boom. Little brat. 
Your launcher deals more damage and leaves two stacks of burn on enemies. When your essence multiplier is above 1.5, deal area damage that inflicts burn for two seconds every second. You gain additional dust from all sources. Get a large amount of dust. Let's do that. Please. No, I hit it. I hit it. I hit it. Oh my gosh. Get drenched. Oh. Oh. Get drenched, baby. Go, 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 go. There we go. Boom. Let me go with these, dude. I'm gonna do it with this one. I'm gonna go with the stone, the scroll. And a hundred dust. Let's go. I'm down with that. Can I get a heal? This upgrades the tink. Let's go with this. Can I get a heal from here? Fire. Engulf yourself in flames or rocket your body forwards or forwards. Aim your desired launch direction when charging. Ooh. Good that one, because the status effects are amazing. I can combine the two and, and really get a good one going. Oh, it's a rift. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about here. This is a good one. If you can knock them off, you gain bonuses. Like that. That's one. Oh, I missed it. That's two. Oh. Oh. There's three. There we go. Launched them. In essence, let's go. Oh, I take all three. Nice. So I forgot I took all three. Nice. It's a rare. When you're hit, advance all cooldown timers become electrified. Ooh. Your attack deals more damage, electrifies you for three seconds if successfully hits. Yes. Your dash unleashes a water explosion that damages nearby enemies and inflicts drenched for four seconds. When your bolt or launcher damages drenched enemies, deal a portion of the damage to other enemies in a small radius. You deal more damage when hitting enemies directly from below. Jaws, I love that. Well, this was nice. Um, Both are really good. I'm going with this. So I can fully heal. And I go here. I have enough money to purchase that. That's the reason I went with that. Yeah, that's, that, that's a big reason I went with that. All right, annoying speech. They will ban you when you need them most. Let's see what you can do for them. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad this time. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Really? Are you guys one move? Sorry, me too. Dash into him. No. Nope. 
Oh, gosh. Oh. Whoop. Pure instinct. No, oh, barely. Barely. I had it there. I thought I had her. I swear I thought I had her. I have everybody unlocked. Unless, except for this broken totem over here. There's other things to find out about this place. I'm not gonna lie, it's not an easy game. I have faith in you, means keep going, the blight will consume us all. See, now I can do the hollow ground. Hollow ground will contain the gift of 50 dust. So I've unlocked all of them, I guess. I still, more, I still need more stones for this one. After weapons are awakened, there are still improvements to be made. In time, we might be able to unlock even more of the potential. Perfect Launcher Plus. This weapon's perfect launcher remains available for a little longer after fully charged. I want the Link Blades. I really want the Link Blades. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna hold up for a little bit. I want the link blades. I wanna try the link blades. Try another run. Let's try and beat this first boss here, because I am sucking right now. <laughs> It's sad because I really thought I had that one. You dash teleport to a set distance and damage is nearby the enemies. You become electrified for two seconds. Ooh. Your attacks deal more damage, electrifies you for three seconds if it's a hit. Let's do it. Alright, what do we got here? We got relic and dust drop. Let's go relic. Electrifying, dude. You do so much damage with electrifying. Pretty badass, actually. Stone, thank you. Kick it. Spirit blessings you find have a 50% ch chance to come pre equipped the luminous gem. Let's go. I'm going to go with more electricity. Dust. I know you're dust. Thank you. Is this stuff over here too? No, just destroy. I heard. Then we keep the electrocution going here. Electricity drops from above, dealing damage. Touch it to become electrified for six seconds. Create a blast that deals double the damage. Ooh. You have bonus damage and movement speed for the fight after slaying an enemy. You gain increased cooldown speed for each active electrocide stat. Let's go with this one. Oh, I love it. Relic or Tribute Room? Huh. Both sound very interesting. I'm gonna go with the Relic right now because I can do the bear and I kind of want the bear. Ah! Come here, little flyer. Oh, that's so nice. Notice that I'm like doing like increased speed too, by the way. See that? I am killing that speed. That's impressive. You deal 25% damage when 30%. Oh, very nice. Okay. That's my shackles. The thorn shackles. I want bear. Oop. 
He's so quick. That's done, please. Thank you. That's three. That means one more one more thing. I have those little I have those crazy awesome blades that, you know. All of your cooldown speeds are faster. You deal bonus damage when striking undamaged enemies, or di your dash deals damage and inflicts frost. Frost is target move speed and attack speed are reduced by Yeah, let's do it. Frost and electricity. <laughs> I'm going left. Even though I want to go right with the max, I'm going left. Hello. I'm not spending anything at you. Yeah, we're going electrical. I don't know why I have such a problem with this dumb rabbit looking piece of crap. No more of those, please. Frosted. Whoop. There we go. Frosty. <gasps> yes. That's my, that's my thing, right? That's four. That's four of them. I keep forgetting to use this. Your your bolt. Your bolt chains nearby enemies dealing more damage. Gain plus one electric per chain. Your essence multiply increases faster and cannot be dropped below. Or when multiple enemies are nearby. Now my bolt's electrified. Let's go. Oh, of course. Let's go ahead and rip. Let's go. One. I, I played I played uh Super Smash Brothers before. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay. There. Get up there. Thank you. Like get up there, please. Thank you. Ooh, max health. Thank you. Tasty. Not as strong as essence is, but I'll take it. Ooh, but I do get an essence here. Ooh, do I, do I want to take this one? Or do I want to take... Let's take max health, and then let's take that. I'd rather have the 200 health here. All right, boss fight. Third time's term, right? That's admit, but I'm impressed by your determination. Let's do this. I did it. I ran into it. Oh, crap, dude. Lock him, lock him, lock him. No, 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 no. Ho, ho. What? You should be knocked. You should be knocked. 100% knocked. There we go. There we go. Give me some. Give me some. You should 100% be knocked. Even if you make it in time, it's already too late. The blight is all around us and the gate is sealed. Oh, that feeling again, it's been a while. 
This isn't over. I mean, it is for you right now. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's zap, though. Giant lightning bolt. That's what saved me. The Viridian Trail. Ooh. But, oh, hello. Who are you? Yet again, the old flame hungers. Incinerate its essence and you should be rewarded. Ooh. What is this, enhancements and stuff? Your launcher fully charges instantly, but it has a 2.5 second cooldown. You, when you slay enemies with your launcher, recover 1% health. Ooh, that's nice, actually. You have 10% attack speed. Holding launcher also increases power, building up to 100% bonus when fully charged. Your fully launcher charges instantly. See, I could do this. Take that one. I wish I had one more. I wish I could have one more. Because this is perfect for all of these. You know what I mean? Go attack speed. I don't care about the cooldown. The cooldown's fine. I'm fine with the cooldown. The big thing is, I would love it. The big thing is, I would love it if uh, I was able to get all that and combine all that stuff, you know? Okay, I've never been here, so. <laughs> no. I'm down here. Thank you. Your sweet spot hits, hit deals 80% damage. Yes. Oh, I could jump everywhere. I'm a jumper. Let's go. I'm going to bear. I'm going to bear. There's two health. Yay. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh, eight. Ow. Jerk. Okay. Um, I already got the new weapon here. This is going to be to, I guess, in no, I should probably have gone with the weapon thing so I can keep improving it. Ooh. When you slay Frost Inflicted, that means they deal damage and inflict Frost on a small radius, or your launcher deals more damage and inflicts Frost. You gain more essence. The next... Rift time. Do I do rift? Yes. I've never fought this guy before. There's one. Oh, oh. There's two. Mother Fluffer? Oh, Jesus. There's three. Can I get a heal, please? I would love a heal, please. Thank you. Your launcher deals more uh, do more damage, electrifies you for four seconds. Ooh, your essence multiplied to increase, increase faster or gain. Let's go with that one. Ugh, stag. All healing sources are more effective. Gain 10% max health. You do more damage enemies the further away they are. This is perfect. The stag is perfect for when you have the bow. Your launcher deals more damage. Whenever you use your launcher, you are poised. 
Not bad idea, actually. The poised. Upgrade one of your spirit blessings to gain a large amount of things. They might go here. Blow up! Oh, they blow up. Oh, oh my god! It blows up too. Oh, wow. Okay. Well. I, I gotta start using this more. Yeah, I gotta start using that more. I gotta go here and spend some of my dust to heal. Really? I don't have enough I don't have enough dust. I gotta heal. I have to. I have to heal or I'm gonna die. See that? Your launcher deals more damage, electrifies you. Your chain lightning bolt deals more damage, it pulls enemies along its path. Oh, wow. You can increase cooldown speed for each active electrified star. Sure. Let's go with this one. Is there anything over here to defeat so I can gain extra stuff? No, just that stupid thing that turns everything into the little miniature buttheads. Oh, jeez. I'm a fan. Wait, when'd you start doing weird shit like that? Uh oh Incoming damage from all sources. This effect doubles when under 15. Ooh, when you open a relic chat, restore some health, or when you recover health, gain bonus damage until they're hit. Boom, right there. Actually, the bonus health would have been nice with my launcher. Okay, I have 250, so I have enough for this and enough to grab one of these bad boys. When you move on the ground, there's a chance that expiring electrical stacks will reapply themselves afterwards. Ooh. When you jump from the ground while well, electric deal damage to nearby enemies. What? Hey. Alright, full health. Full electricity. I can only be so ready. You've made this far impressive. Unfortunately, we cannot let you advance any further. Soon you'll witness how true warriors you battle. Ready your weapon. Whoa! Okay. Holy crap, dude. Okay, that's interesting. Can I knock them out like this? Yes, I can. Let's 
get this guy first, man. Please. God dang it. No! No! I dashed. I dashed. I dashed. I was swinging, though. Okay. I almost got one of them out. Omen Forge, take a look at this. Phew! We managed to clear out that little corridor. The Ruinsmith helps help ruin the boulders while I provided invaluable more support. It stretches the entire length of the Sanctum. I needed a torch to explore it, but I don't think they have a problem. Oh, so I can just automatically go over here? I just get rolling, I guess? Yes. I am happy. No, 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 no. I want this one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Wait, do you attach yourself? Oh, you pull him in. Yep. I just found my favorite attack. Yep. Oh, they come stunned, too. That's a funny thing. Does that launch them up there? It catches them, okay. So you can, this is legit, like. Yeah, look at this. Holy hell, this is cool. Is this still a fireball? Yeah, it doesn't change anything. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining me, folks, for the Indie Buffet. You got to see a lot of the, a lot of the stuff that I liked, like. That I liked, like. That I liked, like. Um, like a lot of this new stuff. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff that we, they wanted you to see. I didn't get to the frost biome because I sucked, unfortunately. But at least you guys got a chance to be able to check out the things that I did get to check out. This is an amazing game. I'm going to be playing later on the stream. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet, folks. We'll hope you find your next favorite indie. Peace.